Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Sarah Alfi Muhammad Zikri and my name is Muhammad Ablu. And this occasion we want to discuss about fasting and I'm coming or also known as Modi. The first we talk is about fasting. I want and I want to talk about fasting with Zikri and I want to ask Zikri, why are Muslims obligated to fast in the month of Ramadan? Okay, thank you for the question, Abdu. I will answer it. So the answer is the holy of Ramadan is a month full of his blessing, forgiveness, and mercy and love from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is obligatory for all Muslims who believe to fast during the month of Ramadan. So in Ramadan, fasting practice such as giving charity, reading the Holy Quran, Tarawih prayers, avoiding unlawful acts, and as well as other activities in this life. So like the first is train yourself to remain grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second is practice discipline against time. Third is provide balance in life. Fourth is strengthening your friendship and increasing concern for others. So for five is knowing that fasting has a purpose. Six is train yourself to be more steadfast and patient. Seven is practice a simple life. And the last or, or eight, prevent this is due to exercise diet. That's uh, why are Muslim obliged to fast in the month of Ramadan. Oh, that's interesting. Then uh, I want to, what are the, the benefits of fasting for health? Okay. I will answer it. The benefit uh, fasting for heart is so by fasting in this holy month of Ramadan, we can at least an opportunity for our deceptive organ to rest, free the body from toxin, impurities that damage health and food for bacteria, virus and cancer cells so that the terms cannot survive. Excessive nutrition is not necessarily good for a person health. Excess nutrition uh, over nutrition cause obesity, which can cause cause diseases such as cholesterol, high blood pressure, coronary heart disease, diabetes mellitus, and others. That's uh, a benefit stressing for health. Uh, that's a lot of benefit we can get. Then, yes. is that a group uh, not required to fasting? Uh, okay, I will answer. There is a five group. First is little kids and crazy people. Second is sick people and old people. Third is menstruation and postpartum. Fourth is pregnant and breastfeeding. And the last or five is people who travel for. That's uh, my answer from your question. Okay, now I want to ask you uh, around homecoming for the first question is why do people go back and forth? Oh, that's interesting question. The yes. phenomenon of returning home, uh, also known as Monique, during it has become a very lively cultural and religious event. So, the word at our first homecoming is something that is inherent of the culture or tradition that exists in Indonesia. Homecoming is synonymous with earth of it, where they live in the city or not in their hometown. They will take advantage of this moment to return home to meet their relatives. Homecoming is an activity that becomes tradition and culture for local people. Homecoming activities have existed since Majapahit Kingdom as a tradition we must maintain carry out the tradition so that it continues to exist. That's the reason people go back to their hometown or mudik. Okay, we next to the second question. So what is positive impact 
of homecoming. Please tell to me. Positive impact of homecoming. I think I know the there. The something I know is the three positive impact. The first is the economic impact. The homecoming of the nomads has a positive impact on the economic at home. They come home with the money and shopping has encouraged high economic turnover in the village. So the farmer, fisherman, and local government get economic benefit. They will <laughs> a hotel have encouraged the progress of their hometown for the opening and advancing the hotel business. The second, the restablishment of friendship between the homecomers and the village who had not seen each other for almost a year. The third is sociology impact. Homecoming bring the successful immigrants closer to those who still live in their hometowns as a parent, family, and friend. The homecoming can renew social relations with the community in the village. Okay, that's all uh, the positive impact I can say. Okay, thank you for your answer. It's very interesting and very information for me, especially. So we continue to the last question or the third question is, which mode of transportation is used the most for going home? The land transportation mark is the high preference for using the in the hometown floor. Hometown. Based on the latest talent talk survey of Ministry of Transportation in March 2022, around 79 million people plan to go home for this year. In the term of transportation news, the top three modes that will be used a private car as a many 21.3 million people, motorcycle as a many 14.9 people million people and bus is 12.9 million people for the conclusion I can say the homecoming event which has a pickup culture and continue to nurture guarded and preserve because the positive impact outweigh the negative impact what must be done okay. is reduced to the negative impact of going home by doing it First, increasing the awareness of homecomers that safety on the homecoming is everything. Oh, that's right. Okay, that's all we can we discuss for for this occasion. More or less, we apologize. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you.